Following the arrest of a former mid-Michigan educator accused of sexually assaulting a former student, Eugene Pratt remains behind bars at the Genesee County Jail. Thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Elise Ramey. And I'm Meg McLeod. Investigators believe there are at least 15 victims, and they say they've received tips from all over the country following Pratt's arrest. As TV5's David Custer reports, child advocates say it's not uncommon for alleged crimes like this to go unreported. If you suspect something, make a report because you might be the only person who does. One person coming forward in February, leading the investigators to this moment Tuesday in the case of Eugene Pratt. <laughs> Pratt is charged with one count of criminal sexual conduct, accused of assaulting a male student in 2013. The one charge that we have a CFC is a solid case. The victim who has been harboring this pain for years has been courageous enough to come forward as an adult. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson says he has reason to believe there are at least 15 male victims over the course of Pratt's career in education, spanning more than two decades at several schools around mid-Michigan. Just like these other high-profile cases, the Catholic Church, Larry Nasser, Jerry Sandusky, these kinds of cases, uh, many times it takes a single victim to come forward to open up the opportunity for others, and that's what we're hoping for. Unfortunately, this isn't the first or last time that we've seen something like this, which is why reporting is so important because offenders can offend again and again until they're caught. Sarah Zybert of Voices for Children says sexual assault to children is underreported, more so when it happens to boys. Factors like shame, fear of being labeled gay, or even a parent or teacher's negative reaction often lead male victims to recant their account of what happened. And that's if they even come forward. Something that we hear a lot is concern um, that they're making a false report. That, you know, we might have thought he was creepy, but, you know, it, it's wasting CPS's time. There's no statute of limitation on criminal sexual conduct, first degree, none. And Sheriff Swanson says in the case of Pratt, he's learned three civil cases against Pratt as an administrator in Beecher were settled outside of the courtroom with non-disclosure agreements, but each one is being reviewed. What I believe, and based on the investigation we have, is there are a number of people that may have said something and somebody may have suppressed it uh, for a number of reasons. I don't know those yet. That was David Custer reporting. Pratt's bond was set at $25,000 plus tether. He has not posted bond.